Hi there and thanks for watching. So nice you're here again. In this week's video, I will show you how I work in my art journal. I take a spread and you can simply join my process fully. I don't know yet if I'm going to finish the, uh, the pages completely, but I will update you in the next video if it's not finished. Just is like how it feels. I'm going to start like I am. I, I usually do and I take you with me. I'm going to test some printing techniques. I have some zero waste items so that will be a nice thing and it's nice you're joining me. Now if you like this video consider subscribing to our channel because that really helps the algorithm of YouTube suggesting us to other people so more people can see these videos. We're still in France at a friend's home in the Corrèze and that's a wonderful area and we've done some painting, some editing, uh, some nice shopping, uh, visiting markets and all those things. So it's a lovely time. It's almost time to get back home and of course I have still uh, some pages that I haven't showed you during this trip but that will all come later. Today I thought it would be nice if I give you a little insight to my process, a little behind the scenes. So let's get started. So this is the page where I will be working on today and the first thing that I always do is check out what kind of pages I have in front of me. So I have a cotton page and a watercolor page. And this is, by the way, the book where I work in. And this is a Dinah Walkley. It's from Ranger. And this is a wonderful book and the pages are from different materials like uh, watercolor paper, uh, the cotton, thing and burlap and then there's one more thing and that's the craft paper so these are the pages that that are in the book um, these books are um, barely available in uh, well everywhere i think i had just purchased the last ones in spain uh, so the the only version that is still available is the blue version, the blue edition, and that's filled with jeans. And that's a nice one as well, but it has got less pages. So I am really uh, working on a plan what to do next when there are no Diana Walkley uh, books available anymore. I have a few of this, I think three or maybe two, I don't know. And at home I still have the, the larger version. Um, but both of those black covered books aren't available anymore. So let's start the project. This is my, my page. These are my pages where I will be working on. So this one is nice to have a background on with maybe the roller, um, with some acrylic paint. And this one is especially good for printing. So I will uh, use my printing techniques for this one. But what I also do, I do not just look at these pages, I also look at what's the previous page and what is the, what are the previous pages been like. And you see, I'm not really, oh, this is something I want to show you. Um, I started with the Lionsgate, which is, uh, has started on, I think the 26th of July, that's my birthday. And it will end uh, the 8th of, August. So what I love to do is make some kind of portals, some kind of things you can go through that it's really um, the lion's gate. So this is a gate and then you see the lion and this, uh, this was just appearing and I was amazed by that. So I don't know if all these pages are uh, finished by the way, but just checking that you can see that my book is like a story, like, like a novel, it's continuing. So color-wise, this is going from green, um, 
creamy color, brown and green. It's going to more pink. There is actually some pink in the other page too. And uh, this is uh, Gora, Gouda, it's called in Dutch. A uh, dried one. So this is the pink page. And here we go to the lion. And here we go to pink and blue. So this page isn't finished yet. And maybe I want to make a small whole gate so that the lion's gate is continuing otherwise i just copied this well doorway um this one i haven't uh i just had made a background and here it's continuing this is all the work that i've done uh, so far on lagan so the place we are right now so this is a kind of um well gateway um because I uh, cut a piece of the burlap here and it continues with the same color. So the blue and white and brown are all on these uh, two spreads. And also I created the pattern and I repeated it on each page. So here you can see it's there and there. I made a diagonal. And here is another diagonal and this could be wings of the woman here and the faces just pop up and what i love about this is that this is a piece of kitchen towel and it has got that pattern which is great i think um, well i'm going from uh, brown and blue turquoise uh, like colors to green and brown so what i kept is the brown i kept the brown in this new spread and also the creamy kind of ones the the white is coming back here and so what i could do is start with um, brown or green on this page for my color scheme um let's see what i have i have some zero waste items so i have the choice whether to use brown or green i have cotton and watercolor paper and often i cover this page fully but this page uh it, well i love i love that color so i am thinking about leaving that this way i'm you i'm working outside so i used some uh, pins to to hold my pages maybe I have to do that on that side as well and I was just thinking about some colors that I really love this is olive and this kind of blue is something I love to use and this one it's also a lovely color maybe a bit dark um, I think this is very fresh and Maybe this one would be great too. I'm just selecting some colors from things that I uh, that are um, uh, things you get at, uh, at the at the hardware store when you mix paint. Uh, you can select some things and look, go home with it, and and check it out in your living room if it's matching your style in walls. So, and this is the same, but then it's. Um, for wallpaper and then you can check out is this my style or not and i had one of these that i really loved but i don't know where it is oh here it is that's this one but then we go very much into green but what i love is that there's a bit of pink in it so i want to go to pink so if i look at this it will totally match this page and I'm not saying I'm going to use this piece fully maybe I don't use it at all but it's a nice thing to to see for to work with to to select a color a color seam um, maybe I have some darker green here as well no I have no darker green 
but I think it will be fine. So for now, I put this one away because this is really a fresh one, fresh color palette, and I don't want to have brown in it. So we go for the green, a little blue, and maybe just a little pink for this um, page. Let's see what I have. I have collected um, some mixed media items like an old magazine, a French magazine. I think it's from 1916 or 1914. I saw somewhere in 1914 as well. So this is nice uh, to use. And um, also have, um, this is exactly the, the color of blue that I chose. And it's matching perfectly. And this is from uh, a box of wine. So maybe I could use that one too. And I have some items over here. Um, I put some things upon because the wind is blowing it away. So I have a lot of, well, kind of um, stencils, just from food packaging things. Here I created um, a template myself. So these are all things. This is from the cheese. There are some pieces of paper which I sometimes use. This could also be nice for printing techniques. It's from the tomatoes. I have another one with other tomatoes. These were the rectangles tomatoes, but these were oh this was from the this was from the avocado. And this one is from the oh this is a tea box. So I could use pieces of that fully. And this is actually from my new brush case. It's officially not meant to put brushes in, but it's for, um, how do you call those, knitting needles, I think. But it's perfect. They all have, it's now already unorganized, but I wanted to do something with my brushes uh, because when traveling in the, in the camper, things break easily and I really want it to be more, well, I wanted to do longer with my brushes, so. I have some bags from the bread, from croissants, so maybe I could use those two. This one is not matching my color palette right now. It's kind of lavender, so I have to put it at my on my lavender spreads. But it's really nice. It's from the garlic. All kind of things I just gathered together to collect it, to, to maybe use, maybe not. And some things I won't use because of the color palette, but there will be a lot of items that I can use right now. So... What I also have is my jelly plate, but unfortunately I have no brayer with me. I have just this one. So I'm not sure if that works out, but I'm going to try it. And when it's not um, working, then I simply try something else to stamp or to... Uh, maybe do the template and, and make a print. But this one, it's a box from the croissants and I think it would be nice to put on a page. So I think I will start with my color palettes. It's really nice. And oh, here is another bag with all kind of zero waste items and it's book pages, it's packaging things, all kind of things. So maybe I can use that too. And this is a box that I love from the cheese. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using those things, but first let's put some colors on my palettes right now. So 
I was starting with four colors and two of those are from Amsterdam, those two. It's um, bluish gray light and Naples yellow green. And I also have olive green, this one, and Payne's gray from Winsor & Newton. So these are the things that I'm using for now, but maybe I will change a little, but... Oh, that was my paint box. Um, this is the roller that I love to use, and it works out w the same way with um, an ink sprayer, but it doesn't work out the other way around so if i'm going to start making a jelly print then it won't work out or maybe it does but i don't have a lot of experience with that but it's getting quite textural so i don't want to have that on my jelly plate and you see that i'm putting just randomly colors on my um on my roller and I do it like this. It's a nice start. And you see I already have the colors that are in this um, palette, color palette from the wallpaper. Maybe I have to use a little darker uh, kind of green like this. And I haven't uh, taken the pink yet. There's a cat in my palette. The wind is getting stronger. I'm very happy with that. It's not the ultimate way to, to work on this project. But it's okay because we had, I think, for a week long, we had a well, 30 to 36 degrees. So that was quite hot. That's why we are recording this video right now, because it was far too hot. I'm adding a bit more white, because I think then I'm giving the work a little space to create other things. I'm adding a bit more yellow. And this is just the background. That I really love. And now I will add, I will do the, the edges of the pages or the, the corners. I will work out with a little brush. Because my only goal is to get started with the background and or to create the background. Maybe I can add a little green to this paint's grey because it's getting very paint's greyish. I can have a little green. And 
I really love the texture of the roller that I've created with the roller. So I won't uh, overlap that with brush strokes. But in this part, I don't mind. And you see that I created a very light area and a darker one. And maybe I have to add some darker colors here. Maybe I want to have a kind of area that is like green, the green, the olive green. But my olive green that I have on my palette is not really like the same color. So I have to mix it a bit. I think with the Naples yellow and maybe a bit of white. And if I want to turn things a little warmer, then I simply add some brown. And if I want to have it more grayish, I can add simply some paints gray. And I am mostly not using the paint as it comes out of the tube. So I mix until I feel satisfied about the color that is coming out. In this case, I think it's matching the color palettes. And I have still a layer underneath that isn't, uh, that hasn't dried. So it, it will mix a bit with that layer, which I find really like it's transparent and I like the transparency. So if you don't want that and you want to have an opaque part an opaque area then you can simply wait until it's dried and or you can take a hair dryer I don't have one because well with the camper it's taking a lot of space so I just have some simple art journal elements so this could be an area where something is happening or where I will be doing something with the patterns that or prints or whatever. And what I could even do is do it like this. So overlap it with my fingers. So it's not going to be a very hard line. Just another thing that I really love doing is um, scratching or this is um, a, a fork that we got from the uh, food market in Perusel Rock and it is for escargot to put the slugs out of the shell and you can do make a lovely print I haven't used it yet so this is a thing that I love to create some lines and just and it's nice because it has two teeth but I don't know if I want to keep this it's just showing you the technique so I will overlap it a bit again because I find it's too um, I really love that green area simply the green area was just good enough for me so I will overlap it maybe I will use it somewhere else but it's nice if you have a lighter background and then you let it dry and then try out some new background and I could also do this a bit with the roller simply make it a bit softer now what I could do is um Creating something with my jelly print, and I could do that on this page. Um, I think it would be definitely an option to use this thing fully because I really love it. But we will see. I also love this one 
it's not exactly the same color. I now see that it's not exactly the same color. So I will just think about that and maybe I will make this part more blue. Mm. This could be a nice printing thing as well. So I could use it with, uh, for example, the paints gray and just... Oh, this is too thick, I think. Just see what's happening if I use this one for a stamp. Just make around here. I've never done this. This is also from the food market where I was drawing some people. Hmm. I hardly see it, so let's do one more, but then here. With the thicker paint. Oh yeah, that's better. Like that. Hey. There's also some white thing there, but I don't mind. Um, I will do the the box of the croissants. I think it's fallen down. Yes, it's under the table. Oh, looks like it's working out with this roller, so that's new to me. Um, I also love it how it goes from this color into that one and then into white and then it turns into the paint gray part again. And now we have printing item and it's looking like a small tree. I've used this one in my Spain art journal as well. It's looking like kind of tree or a plant. And then we have, we'll put it in the middle and then push it gently. Take it off and put it somewhere on the page. Now this isn't dry yet, but I want to close the book anyway. And press it gently on this side too. I don't mind that my jelly plate is getting a bit messed. So let's see what will be happening if I put this one. Look at this. It totally works out fine. I have the shape from my croissant box and it's never the same result. That's why I love jelly printing so much. It could be if you want to have copies of the same things, it's really frustrating, I can imagine. But I love to have different um, results every time I do this. I'm never getting bored with the jelly plates. So 
I think I really love this one and I could also do some printing techniques on this page. Maybe I could use the... Um, this one. And just work with... This, this brush is really nice to make, uh, to work with stencils. I will put the jelly plate aside and I will take my original tear off palettes and I will work on some patterns. Maybe not, not this one, but this one is kind of a leafy shape thing. So, I will take my olive green, olive green, where are you? Where are you? Olive green, olive green, how do you do? I'll mix it a bit with a paint gray and then here I have a nice light area to put my template, let's call it template. And these are in my case no tomatoes but those are leaves from a tree or whatever. So sometimes I'm going to the supermarket or a shop and I see something that I, well, I love the packaging or I love the colors or, and that's exactly how I've chosen these tomatoes and they were organic okay and i also bought the wine based on the label and i don't know if you have the same i really love to know if there are some things in your shop or your supermarket that you really love because of the packaging and please let me know in the comments which products do you buy just to use for your art journal or your art Okay, now I take it off. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. And I could later on overlap those with another, well, layer and then maybe in another color. Or maybe not. So sometimes it's nice to see if I'm still staying true to my color palette or maybe there are some things that I, well, maybe want to change. I think I'm on, oh, in the right direction, but maybe I have to add some lighter green to make it more like this. It would be a nice part to use anyway, because this these white flowers would be lovely to do to put somewhere but maybe they are a bit too uh, dominant or too well how do you call that this this cotton is very thick so maybe i have to um, turn off a layer because normally um, cotton is having two layers and You can clearly see it when you turn it around. Then you see this is the white, the thicker part of the carton. 
and you can simply take it off and then it's quite a thinner um, it's kind of green really like green green so I don't know if this is something that I love but we could try and then maybe mix it up a bit with uh, Naples yellow and maybe a bit of well not green gold but yeah maybe green gold or brown so I will take some gel medium it's almost uh, it's almost done with that, but there is still some, and I have a new bottle with me. So this will work out fine. Let's see. I have to say goodbye to my green area, but I don't mind. It's looking almost like a garden or something, so that's something that I really love. So here's my green gold. Used to be one of my favorite colors and it still is, but I am working a bit more in different colors nowadays, so it's still a favorite, but... It's not my, my, my dominant color anymore. It's great to have it in this work. So, um, I have to take some grass green as well. That's this one. It's more like the color here. So what I'm doing right now is making the shapes less, well, that it looks like if it's um, upon everything, I want to incorporate it a bit more. So that's what I'll be doing with the paint. I try to make a hole a bit. I try to integrate. I try to find ways to no, that it looks like it's it's one piece of paper, which it isn't exactly. But it's And maybe I have to overlap this part with another piece of paper because now I really see the um, edge of the paper. So that's something that I, I don't want that. So that's simply a tea box. And what I could do is continue these flowers later on. And I don't clean my brush very often. That's why there's still some white. When I turn it around a bit, then it's still um, well, coming out. But I don't mind. It's, I really love it that it's that way. So now I have... Um, paints gray area here i have paints gray area there i have some darker green i have some lighter green maybe i can add some darker green here too mixed with the other so it will be more integrated what i could do is to create another um, green area over there um, but maybe I will even just use this one because I really love it. 
And it's a very easy way, it's a lazy way to put something in that's already existing. So I'm, I'm doubting if I do that or not. And then I can turn it around because it's kind of a, well, large piece of paper. So it's really dominating my work. But still, I love it. Maybe I, if I make it smaller, what would it look like if I do, for example, this? Or I just cut out the leaves and use those. Hmm. Or I simply draw these leaves my own in my own style and use these shapes for this page, but let them uh, return corresponding, corresponding with that page and make them there as well. I think it would be lovely if I do that. Mm. But this is something to keep in mind because I really love it and it's my, it's my color palette, um, well, indication. Let's see what we have more. These are the, I think these ones are too, uh, well, too squarey and too hard. And I, I'm searching for kind of organic shapes like these and I really love these, so I will keep them. This is something that I find really, well, stupid to use and we will leave this place in a couple of days. So I think for me, it's time to declutter a bit and decide, do I use this or is it just nice to show to you? It's possible, possible item to use, but I think this one is going, uh, I will throw that away as well. Let's see what I have more. This is, um, the grain is really nice here from the bread, but I don't think that I'll be using it here, but I will keep that one for maybe later. Mm. This is actually uh, a nice color green. Mm. Also with grain, and I really love to use those things when I have a burlap or craft paper because the brown is also in it. So it's also for another time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a leaf shape, just one leaf shape. It could be nice to to do it here. And give this a layer of paint so this will continue over there so i will put this one there mm. well this is the other things that i have in my box so that's not matching with the colors this is a weather forecast it i found it a great idea to use the map of france um, but this is not the area where, oh, this is all of France, so, but it's not really matching the temperatures that we had the last week. So maybe I won't use that this time. And this is uh, something I found in the church. I already used uh, the, the cover page with Ye Jesus on it. And dans la forêt. Hmm. In the forest, be that something nice to use. It's from the newspaper, and it looks like this is a bit of a forest. So I think this is, will be nice to use this. You see, I'm not thinking too much. Not like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? I'm just go with the flow, and I just look for things that are now matching the work that I have so far. And that's the great big benefit from working without any plan. I'm just looking at things that I like. I'm just trying those out. And um, 
it really helps me to say to myself this page doesn't need to have uh, have to be uh, doesn't need to be finished today that's what i be what i'm doing most of the time i'm finishing pages but sometimes i just work on a lot of backgrounds at once and then at, on another day i work on uh well finishing projects Now it would be great if I put a little of this lighter blue over the newspaper. I add a lot of water to it so I won't overlap the text. And simply wipe it out a bit and I have just made it a bit vaguer to integrate it with the page and the fun thing that that's happening at the same time is that the text which is on the back uh, on the back of it will shimmer through as well but that, that's not really a problem to me mm. I could also uh, break this one into two pieces And see if that's working this way. I don't know. I just cut my nails and that's not a good thing. I love having my nails. Look at this. And that's another funny thing. Because this has a texture as well. You see. So if I'm managing to peel it off properly, then we will have two more things to use. Ooh. Yes. So I could use this part because of the, the texture. And I could use this part. Um, but this is a shiny thing. So I think I won't be using that one. And I could use this one as a stem. For example here. And yeah, maybe with a little um, paint gray. Mm. Or I want to have this area lighter. So maybe I do it here. So I'm now using it as a stamp. I will print it like stamp and after that I will use this one as a template again or I will uh, glue it down just as it is right now. I'll first try if it's working out the way I am 
having it in my mind. Yes, that's great. But I think I need a little more pain. Put it here. Push it gently and then oh, it's okay. It's not super, but it's okay. So I have to do something with that later on. What I do love is that if I uh, will glue it down like this, then it's mirrored. So I think that would be nice. Mm. It would also be nice to continue this a little. Like this. Just make the paint a little watery and then your shape is getting more defined. Yeah. And I could also do it like here. This is printed, but there weren't that many. Paint things here, so this is nice. Um, So what I think is that I want to have um, the leaves that are here kind of in the same way I want to have them here. So I will draw them myself and um, have this one as a little inspiration. And I will do that with... Um, looks like I'm very organized and very planned, but actually... This isn't the case. I am just putting everything together and I decide in a moment what will be next. And it does help that I um, I have been art journaling the last couple of days, so that might be useful. So I have the Light Olive Durbant Ink Tense, and I will check out if this is the right thing to do. And I think it is. And what I do is I put it in my uh, water tin and then it's getting a thicker line. 
this. And I could do the same here as well. I treat the fabric pages the same way as I treat the watercolor pages. So I just need a little more water for these ones, but And I see the cat, one of the eight cats that are living here. And this one is called, called Hart. And in Dutch it's called Hartje. And I wrote a song for her. Hartje! Hartje! Hartje, ga je mee op reis? Hartje! So. So now I am adding paint and I could do these ones again after it's dried. And you see they don't have the same color, so I went this one lighter.
Now I come to the conclusion how much I love the green gold. So I think I will overlap this one with the green gold color. Because it's stronger and it's more... Well... More something that I like at the moment. What I could do is continue these little flowers. So I really make it easy to myself to just create with the things that are around me and repeating those things, do kind of my own things with it. That's what I've been doing with these leaf shapes. And sometimes it's nice to wonder, why do I love this piece of, uh, well, in this kind, uh, case, wallpaper? Why do I love this so much? Is it because of the colors? Not just the colors. I thought the shapes were wonderful as well. So um, both of the elements I've been using in my work, but it's been completely different from my original piece and it's also the case with the flowers i think it's um valerian valerian it's called in dutch i think it's the same in english i have this one in my garden so i try to do this with a white gel pen but I also have a um, Posca pen and now that the weather is very hot I always check out the Posca pens because sometimes there's a lot coming out of it at the same time. No, I think this one is too, uh, well, too yellow. This, color, this one is called Ivory. So I will try to use this one. Maybe that's a bit too big, but I think it's okay. And I love it when patterns are overlapping other areas that haven't the same background so in this case it's going a bit through my other and what I could also do with this one is adding some white stripes and they are quite hard lines so I want to soften them a bit and so I wipe them out a bit and for this one it's the same. The paint is really drying very fast so that's a nice thing. Ah, I see I've forgotten a full part of this leaf so I will make it white on the right side and then I'll add some paint later on. It's a very light green on this page. You see also the Posca pen is working out nicely on the cotton page. 
especially when you don't want to have it too detailed like me just playful and I will add some more darker lines for my leaves here and I think this is going to be a very long video so I think after this I will quit the camera and maybe I go on with this later but I think I am quite far with this page it doesn't need much more maybe I want to add a little text later on here I oh, sorry for that I have still some space for a little text or a little element or maybe a flower and I love it that this is kind of vague but it, it well it doesn't need to be finished could glue some elements later on and I'm not really used to um, to use these larger shapes but I kind of love it So looking at these pages, this spread, I really love it. I could add some more elements, but as I said, it's already looking great. And if I look to my previous page, uh, I feel like it's not too, uh, well, it's a bit of a color change because this is more like green, blue and brown, and this is, going to more freshy colors I haven't used the pink yet so maybe that's something that I want to try out um, in adding some tiny items but I won't do that right now the only thing that I want to do is add a little of the light green into my jelly print at the left side of the page so I will add a little of this watery paint it's very watery and just do as if this paint was on my plate like this so it's getting more into well it's getting kind of more like a how do you say that integrated piece so I think this is it for now so that was it for this week uh, you've seen me playing around with templates from food packages um, gathering some inspiration from wallpaper samples and using the jelly plate. Used some zero waste items and this is the final result, which I find great for, well, a little bit more than an hour of work. So you can see that it really takes me a while to create a page and it depends on the page it depends on the project but this page i found the process went very smoothly and it's also because of the weather it's really a relief that the weather is now well better and less warm than yesterday it was really hot so you couldn't do anything just lay down and relax and it's nice to be working in my art journal again. 
So the next video will be probably about the next part of our trip to France. So if you don't want to miss that, please turn on the notification bell. And maybe you'd like to answer, uh, to give an answer to the question that I, um, that I said in the video earlier. Have you ever bought something because of the package because you thought it would be wonderful to use it in your art or in your art journal. Please share that with me, share it with us, and it will be great to hear from you and to see you next time. Bye-bye.